Okay, so we're going to spend some time talking about the different protozoan parasites that exist. These are often found in living inside of other organisms. So a lot of organisms that you might think are deadly, yes, they can be, but a lot of times the big thing that's deadly is the protozoa that's actually living inside of the organism. So let's talk about those. The first one is Jardia. Jardia is found mainly in contaminated water, which is why it's important to always boil water and to make sure that water is purified before you drink it so that you don't get these guys inside of you. These can infect the intestine and cause diarrhea, cramps, bloating, and nausea. They kind of look like this, so it almost looks like a face with some eyes. But that's the first one. You don't want these guys, but they're usually not deadly. These, on the other hand, can be deadly, and if you ever played the Oregon Trail, you know that, because amoebas, certain species of them, can cause dysentery, which is something that maybe some of your characters in that game, if you ever played it, passed away from. So dysentery infects the intestines. It's caused by amoebas, which are in contaminated food and water, as I mentioned. It's very harmful to the body, and it can result in severe diarrhea with blood in it and can lead to death, possibly. The third one we talked about before, this is plasmodium. This is found inside the saliva of female mosquitoes. So the parasitic protozoa that lives in female mosquitoes, um, usually in tropical regions, can cause malaria to the host organism or the organism that the mosquito bites. As I said before, plasmodium likes to live in hot, humid, warm environments, so usually jungles and places in South America, which is why we see malaria way more frequent in South America than we do in North. But if you get malaria, some of the symptoms are fever, fatigue, vomiting, headaches, and in severe cases, you could pass from it. I mentioned these guys before. These guys are really bad. They're called trypanosomes. Uh, they're a group of parasitic protozoa, which have flagellas. They kind of look like this, so like worm-like almost. And they cause a variety of diseases that can be deadly to humans. So the first one is trypanosome cruzi, so T. cruzi. This can cause something called Chagas disease. The way you get this guy is it lives inside of a host organism called the kissing bug, or what's commonly called the assassin bug. If this bug bites you, it can lead to an enlarged heart or heart failure if you get this organism in your system, if you leave it untreated. So you need to make sure that you see the doctor if you um, are ill and think that you've been bit by a kissing bug or an assassin bug. They have seen cases of Chagas before in Illinois and in North America. It's rare, but it can happen. Uh, usually about 10,000 people a year or so die from this. Um, so it's a pretty deadly one. Another trypanosome that's deadly is T. brucei, trypanosome brucei, or the organism that causes African sleeping sickness. This also lives inside of an insect. The insect's called the setsi fly. It's the host organism that carries trypanosome brucei. Uh, as you would expect, African sleeping sickness messes with your sleep. So causes delirium and confusion, numbness, trouble sleeping. So think about a day that maybe you didn't sleep for 24 hours and how you felt afterwards. And imagine that happening all the time. Uh, this can cause death if it's not treated. And if you look at the chart for it, this is a distribution that shows you all across Africa how common it is. Just like trypanosome cruzi uh, that causes Chagas disease, African sleeping sickness caused by trypanosome brucei uh, kills roughly 10,000 people a year. Here's the numbers to show you that. So the deadliest organisms by far are mosquitoes because you can get plasmodium and malaria as well as a bunch of other diseases since mosquitoes deal with transferring blood from different organisms back and forth, which is not good. There's one organism that you would want extinct, it's these guys. The second deadliest animal is humans killing other humans, which is kind of sad. And then as you would expect, snakes because of venom, dogs, dog bites and dogs are common. And then if you look here, the setsi fly and the assassin bug, so trypanosomes that I mentioned. Okay, that's it, short lecture.